uses quick defensive setup to stop a very annoying play in the game. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, all set notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I'm pretty sure that you've ran into this particular formation online. It's a gun tray Y flex or gun tray Y. Uh, it's uh, basically a very popular formation, and there is a play that a lot of players have used, and it's levels Y corner. Um, this is a very difficult play to stop and a lot of players will use this stock online against you it's a quick hiker's dream it's very hard to stop the route develop the, the route development is very good uh, and you can definitely set your, you can you can use it effectively against your opponent so I ran into a couple players uh, recently online that actually use this and um, I just have to let you know I, I didn't have a defense that was really ready ready for it and they got a lot of first downs and stuff like that and it really depended I had to depend more on baiting my opponents more than actually have a, def a defense to shut this down so immediately after the game plays uh, where I could look back to say a couple different plays where, where the levels wide corner got me. I'm like, I gotta get back in the lab and I gotta figure out some kind of a defense because I saw this on three different game plays against me and I didn't have any kind of an answer towards that type of formation. And the guys ran the play repetitively against me and they just made the reads from there. So uh, the, the levels wide corner is gonna be the base play we're gonna take a look at and I'll show you the defensive setup. So the defense we're going to be coming out of is going to be out of the double A gap of all plays. And the play I'm going to look at is going to be the nickel overload, th overload three. The nickel overload three. And I've got a couple of manual. I've got basically a lot of uh, a lot of a couple of global adjustments and then some quick adjustments. And it basically the defense is going to be set. And it's going to force your opponent to, 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 to try to throw into areas that he's not used to seeing. So this is a very easy defense to set up. Basically with this defense it's going to be fairly simple. I'm going to do, show you how I make the adjustments uh, and how quick it is to make the adjustments and then uh, I'll, I'll break it down for you for the coverage. So base line, show blitz, do underneath coverage. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take our inside guy, put him in a three wreck zone. We're going to go ahead and take this guy and put him in a, uh, a corner and we're going to press down and get our coverages down like this. And this is what our defense is going to look like. This should basically lock this up. I got to play the middle of the field and up this sideline right here. I got to look for the, the, the seam route. That's where I'm, I'm actually, where the weakness of his defense is at. But most people make their progressions from right to left. So they're looking to the flat, they're looking to the corner and they're wait, waiting for the guys to cross over the middle. They're not going to be looking off to the left side of the field. They'll be looking off to that, that right side of the field where Gordon and Henry are at. That's where all the action starts and then you have the, all the check downs from there uh, coming across the middle of the field. So we're going to go ahead and play this, watch the guys, and you can see right here uh, these he didn't have anywhere to go with that defense. So let's go ahead and show you how we set this up again. Based on let's show blitz underneath coverage. So I've got the defense set up. We're going to go ahead and pass commit. We still got three guys rushing uh, and a bluff blitzer, so that's going to give us plenty of run support. And once again, we're just going to go and watch these guys going over the middle of the field. Quarterback actually finds a read right there, but actually get a good deflection because he's throwing it into a pocket. So this is the defense. Right? This is how we set this up. We're going to go ahead and base a line. We're going to show blitz. We're going to go ahead and do underneath coverage to get ourselves some hard flats. We're going to do zone all of our defensive, our, our linebackers. We're going to go ahead and take the slot uh, defender and actually put him on a bluff blitz. He's going to put me in a three rec zone. I'm going to take the left of screen corner and actually put him in, in a soft squat. And then we're going to take the right of screen corner and put him into quarter outside quarter. And if we can press, we'll press. That when he pressed, what happens is that outside uh, uh, Quarter actually gets just better leverage against any kind of a deep corner route by the by the uh, the tight end. So let's see right here throws right into coverage. You can see if I got better players, they might actually make a play for me right there. So we're pressing our guys. We're going to pass commit right here. And once again, we've got a lot of action right over the middle of the field. He actually finds the hole right there, but you can see that he's actually going to have to delay a little bit. So this is what you're setting up for your opponent. If he decides he wants to go uh, with this type of a defense, uh, basically what you can do is you can set him up with the uh, with 
uh, basically the um, uh, man uh, with the man, man blitz, which is a mid blitz. So if he's used to seeing this this zone coverage over and over again, now you're going to go ahead and hit him with some crazy pressure off the edge. So you're setting him up for a big play right there because he's going to think that all those guys are off the edge. So now you're just going to go ahead and do you're going to quickly switch into uh, the the mid blitz. And now you've got a, a clean rusher coming off the edge, setting him up for a, a quick blitz. So guys, this is just a defensive strategy that you can throw. Is it the perfect strategy? Hell no. There's never a perfect strategy because if you play anybody that, that knows what they're doing in this game uh, and knows how to make adjustments, they're going to go ahead and take this guy and probably put him in a fly route. They might put this guy in a deep comeback route or something like that or make kind of adjustments. But if you run into some scumbag that just keeps running the same play over and over again stock, it just flips it goes to different sides. Now you have a strategy to go ahead and jam up a little bit forced to make some reads and actually put yourself in a position to go ahead and get some more wins or get some more stops on defense. So once again, I'm a subscriber. Thank you for your support, guys. If you do like this tip, make sure you hit the like button. And once again, I'll be rolling out some more offensive and defensive tips for my channel coming soon. Thanks a lot.